Bonjour to everyone, welcome back to the MacBuy Channel TV. Welcome to Central Station behind me there. Normally I'll do these train travel intros in the station, but I always get there. And the next train to platform four is, and I can't be bothered about it, it's every bloody three seconds I've got announcements going off. Greg's have sold out of pasties, your train's been late or whatever. I can't be bothered with it. So I've got some time today, good 25 minutes or so until my train to King's Cross leaves the tune. Hopefully. Anyways, just been speaking to one of the lads there and he was saying that there's been some cancellations this morning so he's had to get on an earlier one. Thankfully, mine says on time. The ones that are in there now, it's uh, half ten. The ones that are displayed now are saying on time so maybe just um, a couple of the earlier ones got stuck with everyone keeping their work and things like that but thankfully, mine is okay. We will arrive in London by 2pm. Plenty of time before tonight's 8pm kickoff. At Stamford Bridge. It might be Christmas in a few days, but there's a small matter of a quarter final to get to. Now I can't miss this one. I was at every Caribou Cup game last year for that journey to Wembley, including on the big day, the final itself. It'll be the same again this year, fingers crossed. We're at Old Trafford a couple of months ago for that big 3 0 win. Craft and dumb it at the back. Let's hope it's more of the same today. On paper, again, it's a ridiculous draw. I mean, this Caribou Cup is thrown up Man City at home. Man United away and now Chelsea away in the quarterfinals. Obviously, it would be that way since for the first time in forever we were entering the game, the competition in the in the third round. Normally, we would enter in the second round, but because we're finishing the top four, well, we're one less game this year, but it has not been easy. We could have got Port Vale in this round. We could have got Middlesbrough in the quarterfinal. Obviously, it was Chelsea away. Probably the second hardest draw, if you're asking me. The other one would have been Anfield, would have been Liverpool away. We've got Chelsea. Chelsea, a very mixed bag. More so the bad side, to be honest with you. Obviously, they're 10th in the league at the minute. We played Chelsea just a couple of weeks ago and hammered them 4-1. Yes, they had a sending off. But um, at their place, it could be a different story. Obviously, away from home for Newcastle this entire season, it's been a very different story. We are top of the form table for home games. Uh, off throughout the whole season I think but away we are one of the worst sides in the league only one win away that 8-0 win against Sheffield United but that was in the Premier League like I said in the Carabao Cup we got the win against my United at Old Trafford and we got it very convincingly even with that week inside it will be interested to see who plays tonight I'm hearing my source so don't uh, bait me hand off if it's not true but for now I'm hearing that Joe Linton and Fabian Shaw haven't travelled to Sanford Bridge, they're not travelling at all. Obviously, both of them went off injured against Fulham. Eddie Howe said it's not long term, but it's short term enough to rule them out of this trip, if you believe my source. We'll wait and see. But uh, if you look at it, Lewis Hall is eligible. That's the big news as well. You know, Lewis Hall is eligible for this game against Chelsea, who obviously is only on loan at us at the minute. We do have an obligation to buy, but there's been loads of question marks over that in recent weeks. You know, will we make the deal permanent? Why is he not playing? Eddie Howe has he changed his mind? Eddie Howe was asked in the press conference pre-Fulham will we be St. Louis Hall and he said he couldn't answer that so who knows what's going to happen with him but he is available to play tonight you know Chelsea have allowed him to play that shows you that Chelsea don't see his future at Stamford Bridge and they expect Newcastle to sign him because Newcastle had to ask for special permission to allow him to play in tonight's game last week they sent that to Chelsea and they said yes obviously he couldn't play at St. James Park because that's the rules in the Premier League but Hall could play Kraft will come back in no doubt about it will Trippier play Eddie Howe said he's fine but he'll have a talk with them about his involvement Chino Livermento obviously ex-Chelsea young player of the year will play at night you would assume Dan Byrne after scoring against Fulham he'll be in then I said Kraft and Dummett or at least one of them will come in and then the midfield has to be Longstaff Miley and Bruno really especially if Jolinton's out there's not much room for, for change there and then it's the same with the front three. There's not much room for change there. When you think Alan Ron will play, Wilson will play because Isaac, how said he, he could maybe travel, but he does need it more of a rest. So probably be on the bench, Isaac. And then Gordon. Or do you bring in a Matt Ritchie, play Gordon down the middle and allow Wilson to come off the bench and, and get some minutes that way? Um, I want to go for this. Listen, I want to go for this. This is our best chance of silverware. Without a shadow of a doubt, our best chance of getting a trophy. Obviously it is. We're in a quarter final. We're two games away from Wembley. We're one win away from another semi. I like having a semi. So let's get to another semi final, right? Let's get there. 
and then hopefully, well, you know, for a fact we'll get Liverpool. There's no point in even trying. But if we were to get a bad draw, we could have hoped that you would get maybe a Port Vale or Middlesbrough, whoever wins that game at home. That would be the ideal thing for the quarter final, uh, uh, for the semi final. If we we'll get through this, there has to be a winner on the night. There has to be. You know, there is no draw in this. There's a penalty shootout at stake if you can't win in 90 minutes. So let's hope we get the job done. I'll be honest with you. I could see a penalty shootout happening. I could. I'm going to back a 2-0 no win for us though. I think Chelsea have been, uh, they have been poor. Obviously, Newcastle have been poor away from home, but I think Newcastle haven't conceded yet in this competition. Clean sheets against both Manchester sides. I just fancy us to, to nick one and then finish it off later on with a goal as well, make it 2-0. I would absolutely love that. It'll be a great night down in the capital and then come back up with a tune for Christmas and Forest on Boxing Day. But listen, we have to take this seriously. Obviously, the Champions League exit last week was uh, was heartbreaking. I'll move down here because loads of people are watching me video, watching us do a video in the background there. Could have sat anywhere, but you come and sit there. Cheers. I haven't got an audience, right? This isn't the fan zone. <laughs> All right? So we'll just go down here and quiet because I can't be bothered with that in the background. So, aye. The quarter final tonight. Listen, two games away from a final. It's massive. Champions League exit last week, I think, will be softened. That blow will be softened a little bit if we manage to get to a semi final. And then obviously we've got the FA Cup game against the Mackhams on the 6th of January. So there's loads to look forward to. Obviously there's loads of games, Luton on Saturday, Forest on Boxing Day. And talks of fans doing, and talks of the Derby Day, I am hosting that fans. I'll probably do another video talking about that, but uh, tickets are available now. I'll, I'll chuck them in the description for the fans zone at NX. It's going to be quality me and a couple of Newcastle United legends on stage. And uh, one and a half thousand Geordies watching the Derby. Tickets are out now, but they will fly. But tonight is the focus. Chelsea is what matters. Stamford Bridge. I've been to Stamford Bridge a few times and I've never seen us win. I've seen us draw, but I've never seen us win. Please let our train tonight. Or another draw and then win on penalties. That'll do me. It's going to be hard ask for the squad. Listen, we seem to pick up a bit of energy after that first goal against Fulham. Um, but there's still question marks over how fit Gordon is, Wilson is. Obviously, Isaac, who missed Fulham. Um, Miley's going to have to shine again tonight, where, to be fair, he got his first goal against Fulham on the weekend, but he nearly scored in that game uh, against Chelsea last game of the season, didn't he? Where he hit the crossbar. So, listen, Louis Miley, do your stuff again tonight, lads. Players going to have to find that extra boost from somewhere to try and get us through the semi final. And uh, I really hope we've got another trip to Wembley to look forward to, and what a chance it will be to win a trophy because. Listen, if we get through this, then the other only real difficult team left is Liverpool. Hopefully avoid them in the semis, um, and then we'll have a massive chance. We'd have to be fierce to get at Wembley. I said, and everyone laughed after, we beat Man City, we're fierce to win this cup now, because we got the final last year, especially after beat Man United. Liverpool will be interested to see what team they put out against West Ham tomorrow night. Hopefully West Ham win, do a favour. But imagine Newcastle and Mills around the semi. Mills will beat Port Vale, Newcastle beat Chelsea, we get Borough on the semi, beat them, get at Wembley, Revenge for last year. We're there again. Unreal scenes. Let's hope so. 2 no win for me tonight, people. Or I wouldn't be surprised if it was a penalty shootout. I'm going to head into the station now. Drop your comments through what you think will happen at night's game. Subscribe to my channel TV. I'll see you on the next one.